All right, so to build an inclinometer, we are going to need a few items. One is going to be just this uh, printout of a inclinometer. It's also going to be needing a scissors, cardboard, some sort of string. I went with fishing wire, a straw, and a weight. I went with a washer here. You don't have to use a washer. You can use a nut. You can use pretty much anything, but that's what we need to start with. Um, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to cut this out. Okay, once we have it cut out, I can glue it or tape it to this cardboard. I want to keep it right up on the edge to make sure that it's all lined up. So we'll start that and uh, see how it comes out. Okay, so now that we have it cut out, it's on here, it's solid as you can tell. Um, I didn't do anything to the other side, but it's on here. We need a nice stiff form. Um, so this is ready to go. The next step, we're going to poke a hole right where the marking is. Uh, so you can use the scissors for that. I am actually going to prod at it with um, this little watt tester. So we're just going to poke at it and go all the way through. All right, so if you notice, we went all the way through. You can see right through it okay there is light on the other end and uh next up i'm going to use this fishing wire this fishing wire is going to dangle from the end and it's important that i do this before i put the straw on um you because the straw is going to go over the hole so i'm going to put the wire through and then tie the washer to it so that'll take a little bit of time all right, so now we have an almost finished product. We have it taped to the cardboard. We have the fishing wire going through the hole we made. Um, you can see it. And it tied with to the washer. On the back, all I did was tape the string to the back. You could see the tape right there. Um, we just did the easiest route possible. It's not gonna be pretty, but it'll be functional. And uh, you don't need things to be pretty if they work. And the last step is we are going to tape this straw right over. You don't want to put it all the way up top. Um, that would be a mistake. So what we want is we want to put it right over the hole and even with the 90. So I'm going to tape it right to there and we'll see how that goes. And now I have it taped to the setup. Uh, I ran out of scotch tape, of course, so it made it look a little uglier with some medical tape. But like I said, if it works, it works. Uh, we don't really need it to look pretty. So this is done. We have ourselves an inclinometer now. It is fully functional. The way it works is you would look through this straw to whatever you needed to see. So there's a blender. Um, nope, that's not a blender. That's some sort of pot. But you would look through at whatever you wanted at the height, so whatever you want to measure the height. And as you do that, this little string will go down and you can see the angle that it drops at. So the more you tilt it, the steeper the angle. So you could go all the way up to 90, but with that, you would just, as you look through, you would see where it angle is and you would get the angle. Um, and that's how you make an inclinometer. Thank you.